now going to show you how to do black nails on Lamb Chop the Standard Poodle. She has slightly different feet to the ones that you saw on Toby. They tend to point out more. So she does have longer nails because she doesn't wear them down as well. The technique is the same for clipping back black nails as pink nails. Lamb Chop's nails are quite long, but I do know that if I take much off these, they will bleed. But the technique is exactly the same. Stay Lamb Chop, stay, good girl, good girl, good girl. So. I'm holding her foot firmly. As you can see, Lamb Chop's not so keen on having her front feet done. Good girl, good girl, stay. One, two, three, four. Lamb Chop doesn't have dew claws, so we don't have to worry about those. There's one foot. You can see now how the holding technique is useful. Because if I just pulled her leg out in front of her, sit down, Lamb Chop, she wouldn't stand still for me. Now we'll do the other foot. Good girl, stay. Good girl. One, two, three. I'm actually going to leave that nail as it's not very long. So that's Lamb Chop's front nails done. Now I'm going to turn her around slightly and we'll do the back legs. Now you'll see her back nails aren't bad at all either. I'm going to leave the outside black back nail. I'm just going to tip the second one and the third one and the fourth one. I'm going to turn her back round and I'm still holding her and I'll do this other foot. Good girl. Good girl, Lanchoff. This foot she wears down a little bit more than the other. That nail's all right. That one's all right. We'll take the tip off that one and her outside nail's fine. So that's black nails clipped. Yes, they are quite difficult to do because you're never quite sure how much to take off but as I said remember my rule if in doubt leave it out right uh, for those of you who don't know what a dew claw is it's like a rudimentary thumb of a human being some dogs are born with them some aren't most are born with them and at one time they used to be removed but when the docking ban came in dew claws have since then been left on most dogs except the working dogs so Lamb Chop had her dew claws removed when she was a puppy as she's over four years old. So that's what a dew claw is. You need to keep an eye on them because if they're left to grow, obviously they don't wear down when the dog's walking and they can curl right back into the pad. Some breeds have more dew claws than others. Some have them on the back and the front. I'm now going to make sure I've got the right equipment ready to scissor Toby. I need my comb, I need my little foot scissors, my curved scissors and my straight scissors. And make sure wherever you put them they're out of the way for the, for, so the dog can't kick them off the table. And treat them with care when you put them on the table, don't throw them down. Try and be gentle with them, it takes some wear better and keeps an edge on them. I'm going to start by lifting Toby's foot up and taking the hair either off his pads or just inside his pads. Toby actually doesn't have any knots, but I'm supporting the whole dog while I'm doing this because Toby obviously doesn't want to stand for too long. So we take all the hair off, run your finger and thumb down and scissor. Good boy, Toby. Good boy. Now I'm going to need to turn Toby around a little bit so I can do his feet. I take my comb and comb up any straggly hair. I'm taking my curved scissors. You could use the little foot scissors if you prefer. And scissor off any straggly hairs. Good boy, Toby. Another little comb. Take off any little straggly hairs. And that's Toby's foot done. I'm going to do Toby's front foot now. He can sit down and have a little rest for a moment. I'm going to do the same thing and I've got to make sure that I don't pull his leg out because he won't be comfortable. So I need to get into the pad, take all this excess hair off. This excess hair picks up all sorts of nasty things from the ground. I need to make sure that there's no knots in these pads. They're tickly. You can see how he flinches when I scissor in there. It's not because I'm hurting him, it's because it tickles. 
pick off all this excess hair. Take your thumb all the way down to the bottom of the foot and scissor off the hair. There we go, and put his foot in. <laughs> you do need to get rid of the hair off the table else you won't see where you need to scissor what's attached and what isn't attached. So we're taking the hair off there. Now I'm going to scissor the back of the foot. Take off any of these little straggly bits here. Notice I'm scissoring down the leg. If you scissor across, you'll have steps all the way down. So scissor it and comb it. I'm going to lift him again. Good lad. I'm supporting him all the way along my arm so that he's not feeling too uncomfortable because he can't stand for long. Good boy, Toby. Good boy. Again, I take the hair off. And scissor off all the little bits in between. I keep blowing this hair away so I've got a nice clean foot. Good boy. Now I can see any little bits that I've left. And then we're going to work our way up and we're going to do his tail. I'm going to support him while I do his tail because we know he's going to sit down as soon as I leave go of him. If he was oh, good boy, Toby, stand. So again, any little straggly bits just under his tail so it's nice and neat and tidy. A little bit on the end, round it. Such a good boy. Oops, there he goes. I'm supporting him again so he's comfortable. Right, we'll now have a look at his head. Make sure there's no stragglers there. That's it, Tobes. You sit down on your tail. Right, Toby's head. I'm going to comb his ears thoroughly. There's not much to do on his ears at all. Come through, make sure there's no knots. Okay, we've clipped to the top of the ear. I'm not going to clip any lower. That's, that's a nice spade. It makes him look like his ears are quite low on his head. There are two or three different ways to do ears. One of them is push the hair all the way down to the bottom that and just scissor off the bottom. Alternatively, if you prefer, comb that. you could hold the ear like that and you could scissor it in an oval shape. The choice is absolutely yours, the result is the same. Let me just do this ear. Good boy. Toby. I'm going to do the same with that. I'm going to, good boy, come all the way down to the bottom and scissor off the bottom. There we go. And remember I said about the whiskers, we need to make sure that any little ends that we didn't get off with our clippers need scissoring. Because it spoils his ever so handsome face. So just with the little scissors. Are you going to sleep, Toby? Right, the last thing we're going to do is run the brush over Toby again. I'm actually using a different brush only because this is really gentle and it'll just pick up the last little scruffy bits. And we can check if we've got any little bits that we think we should run the clippers over again. We can do so at this point. And now the only thing we have left to do is to put a ribbon on Toby and a little bit of spray to make him smell good. Right, I'm going to show you how to make dog bows, which is really the finishing touch to grooming. 
What we're going to do is, I have two different colours which make them really pretty and I'll show you how to fold them. So we fold it once and then back on itself twice and a third time. Then cut the ends off. Preferably cut them off at an angle, they look nicer. So we have the, the start of our bow. Now don't pinch it with your fingers else it'll spoil these little bits at the le at, that are left at the end, the loops. Take your scissors and cut in slightly at an angle, probably about a quarter of an inch. Turn the bow over and cut in a quarter of an inch the other side. That's for the rubber band to hold the bow together. Take a little latex band, open it out between your fingers and put it over your notches. Over once, over again, that's twice, and keep a hold of the loop. Take the loop and put it on your finger next to your little finger. Obviously if you're left-handed, do it the opposite way around. We then want to open up these loops, so we use thumb and finger, thumb and finger. Finger, thumb, finger, thumb, and separate it out a little bit. And then we take the finger and the thumb on the right hand and the left hand, separate the bows and twist. Same with that one, separate and twist. Separate and twist. And just pull out your last little ends and there you have a bow. See, pretty little bow in pink. We're now going to put this on the dog's collar. We have, we had a double loop. We slide through the dog's collar and that's it. Now we're going to pop, I'll pop Toby back on the table and put his collar on him. Good boy, Toby. Good boy, Tobes. Put his collar on. So we've finished grooming Toby and we've made him his bow in Bristles Dog Grooming Corporate Pink. I've shown you how to clip him, bath him, brush him, a health check, how to do his nails, his ears. So, do you want to become a dog groomer? <laughs>